and welcome to PNA and Hearing Aids. I am Emily. I'm your hostess. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I created this channel as a help for parents of children with a hearing loss and or anaphylaxis. I have a moderate to severe hearing loss in both ears myself. I was diagnosed at birth. I also have an anaphylactic allergy to peanuts. So I created this channel as an experienced child. I'm not a parent yet, but I feel like I can give some useful advice to parents that are trying to help their younger children. Today, I'm gonna to talk about traveling with a peanut allergy, specifically flying on a plane with a peanut allergy. Here are the steps that I take, broken down into three sections, pre-trip, trip, post-trip. Post -trip. So for pre-trip, there are two categories to it. Step one, book your trip and call the airline and let them know about your allergy. I just booked a trip to LA we went to Disneyland. It was so fun. I highly recommend it. Um, I booked my trip with Delta and I called them and I said, hey, I have a peanut allergy. They said, thanks for letting us know. We'll make sure that we can take the precautions that we can take to help you. So then I pack my med kit. So with my med kit, I always carry two EpiPens on me in addition to Benadryl and Prednisone. In my plane flying med kit, I carry all of those things in addition to enough medication in the case that I had a reaction on my flight. For example, my flight was two hours long to LA. So I calculated that I would need at least six EpiPens if I reacted right when I got on the flight. Now this is worst case scenario, and I can't afford six EpiPens. So what I did is I took my two new EpiPens and then four expired EpiPens that still had clear solution. I have a lot of EpiPens. Look at this. This is like how many I've collected since I think this is on my own go back to 2014. I wouldn't recommend keeping them that long. But like when you pay so much for them, you can't throw them away. It's crazy. So in my med kit, I pack my EpiPens, my expired EpiPens, my Benadryl, and my Prednisone. Those are prescribed by my doctor, the Prednisone specifically. The Benadryl is an antihistamine. It will suppress the immune system and then the adrenaline or the EpiPen resets your system and then the prednisone boosts your system. So uh, that's a steroid and that would need to be prescribed by the doctor. Now, some doctors may not give it to you. There's action plans and prescriptions different for everyone, but it is an option. So next, once I have my med kit, I always make sure that I have wet ones wiped. Here's what they look like. So I use these, I like to carry them with me because they're really slim, they're great. I use these to wipe down my seat. I make sure that these are packed in my carry-on in an easy to reach place. So I have them to wipe down my seat when I go. Next, well, I arrive at the airport, I have my med kit handy and I have my wipes handy. I go through security and I check in at the terminal desk. I let them know, hi, my name is Emily, I'm here and I'm the one with the peanut allergy on board today. They look up, they confirm and they say, yes, okay, um, would you like pre-boarding? Yes or no. Pre-boarding is an option where you can board before everyone else so that you have time to get situated and wipe down your seat. I do take this option. It feels awkward entering the plane before everyone else, especially with the elderly people or the people that have kids. Everyone's wondering, why is she boarding? Um, but it is, I need that time and I need to be able to establish myself and be there so that if people start opening peanuts, I can give them a warning ahead of time. It's happened several times. I'll sit down, someone will sit next to me, and they'll just rip open a peanut something. <laughs> Pre-boarding isn't always an option. The airlines are really nice to do that. It's a privilege. It should be used wisely, and we need to respect that privilege and make sure we don't take advantage of it. So when I pre-board, I make sure that I talk to the stewardesses and the flight crew and let them know I'm the one with the peanut allergy. I get to know their names. I have a little extra time to talk to them. So that's always fun to strike up a friendly conversation. And then I take time to wipe down my seat and my tray table. I wipe down my seat. I start above from the head down. So I try to wipe my whole seat going down. I have a little video. And as you can see, no one else is in the plane when I'm doing this. Bottom to top, and my husband actually usually does it for me. So if you're a parent, you can do it for your child and ensure that your child does not stick their hands in certain places because when there are nuts and stuff, they can fall in cracks and crevices. I try not to touch anything when I'm on the plane. Make sure that the flight attendants make the announcement at the beginning of the flight if that airline offers it. If they don't, then just be aware of people around you. I can smell peanuts. I know when someone opens it. So if I can smell it, I'll usually tell my husband, we'll try to see if we can tell who is eating it and we will ask them if they could please put it away. 
Oftentimes we have alternative snacks that we offer them in exchange for putting their treat away. So that's always a nice thing to do. So during the flight, if they offer you food, if it doesn't have a label, don't let your child eat it. It stinks. You need to be responsible for bringing other snacks, but this is your life. You're responsible for it. The airlines are there to help. They're there to transport you, but they cannot take responsibility for this. And we want to keep our privilege of being able to fly. So next, after you've arrived to your destination and you've had a successful trip, be sure to thank the crew and thank the airline on social media. I love doing that. I'll usually say, you know, dear at Delta, thank you so much for a great peanut free flight and share it on social media. There's my tips. Just as an overview, we have pre-trip. Be sure to call the airline and let them know about your peanut allergy. Pack your medical kit. Trip. Check in at the check-in desk. Pre-board. Only eat things that are labeled and make sure you have your red kit handy. And then post-trip, be sure to thank the airline on social media. I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below and share this video with any parents or family members or friends who could benefit from it. Thank you so much and I hope you have a good day.